You do your little funny ha ha thing where I look for a candle. That it's not gonna really going to be so much funny ha ha. Hi everyone. Um, a little behind the scenes here at Holy Toaster. Uh, we decided for the uh, St. Patrick's Day episode at the spur of the moment, we were going to make a uh, jack o' lantern out of a honeydew. <laughs> I don't really know what brought this on. Burns just it's went. It's green inside. Burns just went. This would be funny if it was a jack o' lantern, and then he went 1920s, and then he started ogling the chicks for the dry rubs. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Basically, in order to do this, it has to remain whole, but be able to have a light inside of it. So I'm going to try to do it the same way that you would do a jack-o'-lantern by opening up the top and then carving everything out. Problem with it is, it's going to take a lot more to carve out because this thing is full instead of just having a little bit of seeds and being uh, not a lot of meat. So, uh, let's go and it'll see what delicious. we... It'll be delicious. It'll be delicious. Just, just... Give me that. Okay, um, initially cut the first hole in there, as you can see, if you, oh, now, uh, basically the rest of that I'm going to have to do, and this is going to be sped up probably over time, because James loves to do that, but I've got to dig down deep in there, cut out everything I can, scoop it out with a spoon, and then set it up where it's hollow enough where I can make a uh, jack o' out of it. <laughs> basically just like doing a uh, <laughs> basically just like doing a a pumpkin except we've got more meaty bits that we're gonna have to wash off and eat. Delicious. I'm not too that's why I put a bowl here and a plate so you could scoop the CD bits into the bowl and the eaty bits onto a plate. Yep. I'm sure that's why you did it. <laughs> He's an animal. <laughs> Get away while I'm doing this. I'm trying to show the people. I wonder if it looks the exact same way on camera the way it does to me. It looks like you're really carving through a skull. <laughs> it really does look like a shaved human head with a face is just turned towards you. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was gross. <laughs> of the camera. You are wasting these people's precious time. You people have time? Why are you watching this shit? <laughs> Realize we're gonna give like a whole bunch of stuff to to intern tonight, you know? <laughs> Kato's yeah. little Kato's arcane shot funny haha -ha, and this stuff and you'll just be like, what the fuck is this shit? This isn't funny. <laughs> well, I don't expect everything to be funny that we do. I don't, I don't expect 90% of our stuff to be funny. <laughs> but up up but up <laughs> Okay, Burns, switch out. I want you to try to scoop some of this because you have smaller hands than I do. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you'd be better at doing it than me. What are you trying to say? <coughs> Hello, America. Is this my big break? Yes, it is. Apparently, this is my. Dadlumta. 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 Sick, 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 sick. It's right, this is boring. I'm bored. You're boring, Zoidberg. So to what consistency am I doing this to? Till I can see the till I can see the whites of his eyes? What am I? Yeah, just try to make it a little bit just scoop out what you can. Okie dokie. <laughs> scoop out what you can. He's our director. He directs and we sort of sometimes maybe kinda of follow. Not all the time. Hardly at all. This is sort of boring. I'll come back when we're doing something funny. Okay. Um, I've gotten it pretty much well carved out, but it's still a little thick in some areas, so I'm going to put my fist into the melon and squish up everything. <laughs> However, that makes a delightful sound effect as well, so I'm going to do this. A little bit and kind of show you what I'm doing where I'm pushing around on it doing that making some some more leg room there now I'm going to bring it close to the camera so oh. you can hear what I hear oh oh careful not to get done no need to get that close you're gonna will, get... you, will you be quiet so I can get the sound effect you're gonna get juice all over there shush it's like cleaning a toilet <laughs> 
cleaning dirt. That truly is a horrifying noise. <laughs> and I'm uh, using my nails and digging in a little bit, scraping up the sides a little bit more to get some more of the stuff off. And I'm taking the bits that he pulled out, removing the seeds, and taking the delicious pulpy bits so we can eat them. Let me pour that in the sink real quick. Welcome to Kato's fucking alley. <laughs> Welcome to Kato. Shut up, you're fucking eating it. <laughs> Shut up, you're fucking eating it. <laughs> I don't want to eat it, Mr. Kato. <laughs> Shut up, you're fucking eating it. <laughs> Gina. <laughs> okay. Ah. Alrighty. Um, a little bit more scraping, and this thing should be perfect. So uh, we'll just skip ahead of that bit. Okay. We're trying to figure out a candle option right now because we couldn't find our candle. So uh, we have this bad boy, which looks really cool and has flickering and light color changing and all that. And I'm wondering... Wait. If it's removable. Dude. Okay. Now to carve our jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to go with the traditional smiley face. Um, just the triangle eyes and all that for it. Um, because A, I don't want to do anything too complicated and have it fuck up. <laughs> and, or B, um, I don't know, just seems like a traditional kind of guy. It's going to be a traditional... Put the Dr. Insano goggles on it. No. Traditional. This glass is filthy. Why is it in the bar? <laughs> Kato's trying to poison us. I, somebody... See? Very nice. Well done, Pat. Now to trim it out a little bit so we get as much light as possible in there. So one of the biggest things that you can always do whenever you have your kids carve their first jack-o'-lantern is to make sure to cut around wherever the light's going to be shining in and open up the holes more so that more light will get in. Actually, it's a small behind the scenes. I've actually never made a jack-o'-lantern. What? Really? Because I, I, it was always too icky to me. I never liked reaching my hand into the guts. We're gonna fix that this time, we? I take that back. I think I may have made one once in like the first grade with the. Uh, my dad came in and did magic tricks for the kids, and I, being a smartass, I being a smartass who have seen his magic tricks over and over again, went, "It's a trick! <laughs> Get an axe! <laughs> it's in his sleeve!" <laughs> That's right. I heckled my dad. <laughs> I'm that kid. <laughs> Is there anything you won't ass up? No. Funeral? <laughs> <laughs> I will rarely ask up a funeral. <laughs> funeral and the airport are the two places where you will see me as solemn and quiet as fuck. <laughs> Unless I've been previously requested before a funeral by the deceased. Preferably before he dies. Because <laughs> afterwards it's kind of creepy <laughs> to fuck up at his, at his, at his funeral. <laughs> Like for you, I've been told on many occasions, I need to, for you and for James, to go up to the, the casket, lean down. I'm still alive! <laughs> Someone will get me out of her! I can't breathe! <laughs> this hurts! My god, this man is still alive! <laughs> Somebody stop them! They're monsters! <laughs> they would bury a perfectly living man! If I could rig you with animatronics, <laughs> you should <go>, <laughs> Hi, welcome to fucking Elite. <laughs> He's a professional to the end. And there is our uh, jack lantern. Let's see if we can get it to light up properly. Yes. Wait, wait. Nice. Here, let's let's go ahead and. I think if we put him, I think we can put. Turn off those lights real quick. Let's see if we can just see really good from there. Oh, now that looks cool. Now that is how you do a proper Kato's Bar St. Patty's Day Honeydew Jack-O-Lantern. <laughs> Honeydew a lantern. Yeah, whatever. If you're really horny, Honeydew a lantern any day of the week. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that's behind the scenes with Holy Toaster and our new Honeydew a lantern. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Oh, God, now they can see me. That just...
The woman appeal is gone now. I should have turned on the lights. You should have been naked. <laughs> 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 <laughs>